a little bit guilty of hating change. You just have to go into the comment section of an electric car posted on Facebook to find out that. And that is exactly why there's so much excitement over the new Honda Civic Type R. In an ever-changing world, it's pleasingly old school. Unlike the standard Civic lineup, there's no hybrid nonsense here, just raw petrol power. From a front-mounted 324 brake horsepower turbocharged petrol engine. Front wheel drive, and I'd nearly forgotten what one of those looked like. A manual gearbox. Hi guys, Tish here. I'm so pleased at last the weather is on my side. And what a better car to have weather like this. It's a crisp winter day. The blue skies are looking fantastic with the blue paintwork on this new Honda Civic Type R. And I can't wait to show you everything that's new and also the same in this new generation of car. I just want to quickly thank the customer at John Banks who's lent us this car for the day and trusted me. I am ever so grateful. If you want to find out everything you need to know about the new generation of Honda Civic, then keep watching. And if you like new car reviews and car content, then this is the place to be. Hit the subscribe button. Without getting too technical, improvements include a redesigned turbocharger, a straight exhaust system to improve exhaust airflow rate, upgraded radiator for temperature control and airflow, and revised engine control system. The overall effect of the engine upgrades is higher performance at high revs and higher fuel consumption at low revs and the highest power to weight ratio in its class. The engine produces 329 PS or 324 brake horsepower at 6,500 RPM with the engine revving freely all the way up to 7,000 RPM. The result is the Honda Civic Type R can sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 5.4 seconds and has a top speed of 171 miles per hour. I may be reviewing this car in sunny Suffolk, but I'm an Essex girl born and bred. Oh, shut out. And that means that I like my hot hatches to look outrageous. Give me all the wings and fins that I can handle. However, this new generation of Honda Civic Type R, well, it's been de essex -fied. It's much more subtle than its previous FK8 generation. There's less kind of blingy bits, a lot less going on. And whilst I preferred the outrageous looks of the previous gen, I understand that now this is going to be much more appealing to pretty much everyone. And actually, in pictures, I wasn't too sure. But now, in person, I think this car looks fantastic. I think it's because it's finished in this blue paintwork. So you've got the contrasting black details and then you've got a peek through of those red Alcantara sport seats. It's really quite striking. So what's actually changed? Well, previously there was a bonnet scoop on the Honda Civic Type R, but it was further up the top of the bonnet. It's now been brought down and it is still physical. It does still cool the engine. You've also no longer got that kind of gloss black bonnet bra and the lights are slightly lower set and they're in a new LED light signature. You've also got these gloss black air vents at the bottom, which aren't actually physical. They are just for show. The real air vents are a little bit further down around here and they work to cool the brakes when you're driving. It's got a slightly wider grille as well, although it is very marginal. And again, that's to really suck all that air into the intercooler. Moving around to the side of the car, the wheels have slightly shrunk, which again, I don't usually agree with. I like big alloy wheels, but actually they still suit this car really well. Finished in a Mac black design, you've also got red Brembo brakes, just contrasting. I really love all the contrasting colors on this vehicle. This is the color that I would have it in. Honda have worked really hard to make this new generation of car both lighter and also more aerodynamic. As you can see, there's a little vent here which sends all of the air past this little groove on the side skirt and past the rear tyres. So it's far more aerodynamic than its predecessor. But don't worry, all the best styling bits of a Honda Civic Type R are still here. You still get 
a massive rear gloss black wing. And of course, at the bottom within the gloss black diffuser, you've still got that center mounted triple exhaust system. But I know what you're thinking, what does it sound like? at John Banks has actually lent me this to drive today so thank you John Banks for organizing and I can't believe that not only is this my first ever drive of the FL5 like lots of people but it's actually my first ever drive in a Honda Civic Type R I can't believe that I've just admitted that it feels like something that could have me kicked out of the auto industry and I also apologize to all the people that work at John Banks that didn't get to drive this before me. The fun thing about this car is it feels like a modern day classic. You've got all the comfort and convenience of a brand new car, but then you've got that manual gearbox. Driving a proper manual car nowadays has become a bit of a novelty, and this gearbox is as good as it gets. The old car wasn't exactly lacking in this department, but amazingly, Honda's engineers have managed to remove what tiny bit of slack there was, making movements between the ratios feel more positive and engaging. The limited slip differential is also working away on the front axle to reinforce these qualities too. How cool is this red interior? The floors are definitely giving me vintage vibes and these bucket seats are so soft. Once you do climb into the Honda Civic Type R, you're greeted with a very pleasant noise and you also get the Type R graphic come up on the dashboard. These seats hug you in quite tightly. In fact, I think if you was a slightly bigger person, you might struggle to get comfortable in these seats and don't even attempt to get in and out because even I find that a little bit tricky. But I think that's all the fun that comes with a car like this. It has its compromises, but it looks fantastic. You've got the new setup, which has come across from the Honda Civic in the general lineup, and it was not one of my favorites. I'm really not a huge fan, and I'm still not a huge fan of this chicken wire. I seriously do not know what they were thinking. It's a real shame. I feel like I'm being quite biased when it comes to this car because I've loved everything so far, but nothing could make me love the chicken wire. I do, however, love the little plaque that you get on the dashboard that tells you what model number your vehicle is that's really nice and that is a bit of honda civic type r history as well because i'm pretty sure a lot of the other models had that too it now gets the brand's new infotainment system and this system it's okay it's not without its issues i don't think it's particularly the brightest or the largest however it does the job and i think in a car like this that's exactly what you want you get apple carplay android auto and it's also wireless as well which makes it handy and you've got a wireless charging pad up front too now one of the things that is an addition in this new car is a new customizable driving mode which is great so this is your custom mode and then into the settings on here you can change everything you can have this car set up for your perfect drive which i love this steering wheel is lovely as well. I've forgotten what it feels like to have an Alcantara steering wheel. It's a little bit different. You've got the red stitching around the center, but it just feels really soft, as well as these seats. They're all really, really soft. And you've got the red seat belts as well, just like in my Lupo GTI. It's just all these little touches that make this car feel really special. I'm not so sure about this kind of fake um, carbon fiber down the center console, but I really am nitpicking at it now. And I love the little gear selector as well. That's now finished in a brushed aluminium and you've also got chrome um, pedals as well, which is new. 
As before, you can download the R Log app for your Type R, but this information is now also in the touchscreen. Great for use on and off track. In data log mode, acceleration, braking and cornering G-force data is collected and combined with the GPS location mapping to provide a comprehensive lap overview. The colour-coded lap trace allows users to recognise and improve on their braking points and throttle position at all points of the circuit. The Type R is longer and wider than the Volkswagen Golf R. It's not completely set up for family life. It only sits two people back here and you've got two cup holders instead of the place of the middle seat. However, it's really spacious. I've got loads of legroom with this seat set up to me and I'm around 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and I've got plenty of headroom as well. I've definitely been more cramped in the back of cars. Plus, I really love the details of these wing back seats, which have Type R on the back as well. It does feel stiff, mind. The new Honda Civic Type R is 35 millimetres longer in its wheelbase. And while it's ultimately the same platform that underpinned the outrageously good FKA Honda Civic Type R, the suspension has actually been changed, it's all new, and the new car is now more rigid and a touch lighter, thanks to a new bonnet and also a plastic boot lid. 324 brake horsepower is a hell of a lot of power in a front wheel drive car, but the Type R does surprisingly well in deploying the power smoothly, helped by a set of bespoke Michelin compound tyres designed to cope with the heavy burdens placed on the front axle during performance driving. Just like the outgoing car, torque steer is kept to an impressive minimum. In fact, because I haven't driven the previous generation car, the closest thing that I can compare this to is the Hyundai i30N. And unlike that car that wanted to spin its wheels constantly, the Honda Civic Type R feels much more stuck to the road, which is definitely a good thing when you've got so much power. who loves manual hot hatches. A few of you told me that I'd love the Honda Civic Type R, especially after how much I enjoyed the Hyundai i30N. And I was kind of reserved until I'd driven it myself, but I'm absolutely amazed. Honda have really stuck to their guns on this one. They knew that they had a winning formula and they chose not to mess with it too much. Just some subtle tweaks here and there to improve on what was already pretty much perfection. The new Honda Civic Type R is fully grown up and that is just as well because the price tag has grown too. It now costs just under £47,000 which is nearly a £12,000 price increase on the previous entry level model. However, this car is really limited in its numbers. Add to that that the fact petrol, fully petrol cars are a dying breed. Buying this car is likely buying into a piece of Honda history, which is why, regardless of price, I can see people falling over themselves to own one. Thank you so much for watching this video today, guys. What do you think of the new Honda Civic Type R? Have you got one on order? Let me know down below. My friend Armagan has actually taken delivery of one of these cars. So I'm going to pop his details down below so you guys can check his channel out because he's going to do so much with his Honda Civic Type R. And thanks to the customer at John Banks and John Banks for organising this video today, guys. I'm so really happy that I got this experience. If you've enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more videos from me on this channel, Auto Social UK, then hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, see you later.